working. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Oh, is that how you see it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick! This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness! This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the Northern Border Wind investigation. What is it doing here? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa, too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? What does Lisa like to eat? She's been here a few times with Master Jean for afternoon tea before. I think she normally orders something vegetarian. A lady tends to eat cautiously on account of her physique, after all. On that note, I should probably be watching my own diet a little more.
<sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. I imagine that making a good vegetable soup takes good quality ingredients, cooked in the right order. At least, those are the principles that apply when one is making potions. But from what I've heard, soup making was a popular pastime among the witches of the past. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you order us something cute? Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't... <sighs> Eating salad is like piling on more and more elemental power. Raw, unfettered energy applied indiscriminately, with no elegance or control. It's the first mistake all magic users make when they're learning. But then again, if one genuinely had so much pure elemental power that they could solve any problem they wanted, that would be a different matter entirely. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Hmm, finished ordering? Sit here, let's dine together. Today's recommendation is the steak. The ingredients are fresh. The good hunter certainly lives up to its reputation in that respect. Salad as a meal is a little bland, though. It always feels like there's something missing. I... Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> okay then, but make sure you don't forget this time. Right, on to our next stop then, cutie.